my name is Eric Sanders from the Sands Firm of PC, and I want to talk about a problem that's often hidden, but now it's recently surfaced a lot out in Suffolk County, and that's what we can term, uh, you know, environmental discrimination. You know, we have to be careful when, with respect to uh, people of color, especially in neighborhoods such as the Bronx, out in Brentwood, Central Islip, areas where there's a significant concentration of Hispanic. Um, brothers and sisters out there, members of our community. What we're starting to see a trend of now is that, especially out in Suffolk, is you have this environmental dumping. Some company or unknown companies are dumping asbestos laced soil into the parks. And the state and the city, or at least the city and the counties, are covering over the parks, using it for grass for our children. And next thing you know, they find out that it's asbestos laced. We have to be more vigilant in our community to make sure that we're part of the whole process as far as construction, contracts, and everything else, because we're getting the short end of the stick. We have to do more to protect our community uh, for discriminatory purposes. Uh, we have, if you look, we have more waste stations and all these other different things we don't want. We want to have convenience. We want to have uh, you know, a clean environment, but not in our backyard, of course. And unfortunately, too many things occur in neighborhoods where we have limited voting power because we don't really need to make sure that we have not only a voting block, but we get involved in what's going on in our communities. So you have to remain vigilant with the discrimination because the bottom line is that whether you know it or not, our communities are being used as a dumping ground for all kinds of things, including asbestos, and that's just another form of discrimination.